Hey guys. Okay, so we're just pulling everything out. So make sure that you say hi in the comments when you join us. Um, I'm so excited to be sharing with you one of our favorite accessory sets. Um, it's actually a lot of fun. So I'm excited to play a little bit with you guys and um, hopefully come up with a couple ideas that inspire you guys. So again, we're just pulling up the comments. Um, I have Mindy with me as well. Mindy, say hi. Hi. <laughs> and we are we decided to kind of um, team up on this and so that we can show you even more ideas as far as the woodland creatures goes. Um, okay, I think I can see you guys comments. You guys can see us can hear us just well. Perfect. Okay, hold on. Natalie and Lisa. All right. Good morning. Is it morning? No, it's not morning. Knock it off. It's afternoon. <laughs> I'm like, wait. Well, morning in it's California. Morning. It's morning in California and Oregon and still. Yeah, this yeah. is true. It's already two o'clock over here on the east, but we all need a little bit midday creative pick me up. That's what I'm calling it, these things. Um, little R and R during the midday. I actually partially felt like it was Friday today. Um, it has the kind of that Friday, you know, feeling in the air. And then I was um, horribly misinformed and not horribly, I guess. I'm gonna look at it as a positive way and say, this is a good thing. It gives us one more day to accomplish even more stuff. Another day, another day is always a good thing. All right. Hold on, I have some, let's see, auto connect. Can you not hear me? I can hear you, but it looks like you're frozen. Okay. I don't know. There we go. I'm frozen on the other end. Now you're good, well, I think. Now I'm good, okay. Alrighty, so we are going to be creating, hopefully you guys can see all of these three screens. We're, we're gonna test this out, multiple views. So like I said, we're playing with, uh, Minty, you have it out, way, way to go. So, yeah. Minty, um, we've been, You're cutting we've been seeing some people sh use this set. Yeah, the other day out. I saw, yeah, you're cutting out a little bit. Um, I'll just pretend I know what you said. So the other day, um, <laughs> I saw on the Play to Create group, Elizabeth Morris, she had played with the woodland creatures with her daughter from college, who she says is not a crafter at all. And but her daughter really loved playing with these and they showed a picture of all the little animals they made. It was really fun to see. So woodland creatures is fun for everybody. I love that. I agree. And they're good for various of uh, projects as well. So let's give you a close look at how this set is so specific. Um, and I'll go ahead and let you spotlight that. Mindy. Okay. So Woodland Creatures is um, different from the normal designer templates because it is body parts basically <laughs> of the different animals. You can mix and match them um, to make the different animals. Like if you were going to make the bird, you would take number seven and and all the little directions are on the insert as well. And then you would lay um, number one on top with uh, number six and nine. And then number three, if I can pick it up, would be the tail but you can put those in a different combination to create other animals. So, you know, you don't, in the other designer templates that you have, you know, one piece is what it is, but these, all these variety of pieces can create lots of different um, animals. And there's even a lot more than what we show on the insert. Like, I just wanted to show you this one idea that Kiri in the office made, she made a fish out of um, the woodland creature. So she took, the number seven, and she kind of just brought it to a point on one end. And then she used the number nine for the back fin. And then she also used the number nine again and cut it in half 
for the top and the bottom fins or the side fins. So, I mean, there's lots of other um, combinations you could come up with than just the ones. Yeah, mixing and matching. So, yeah, it's I really love that. fun. Thinking outside of the box. Love the fish. Absolutely. Here, I actually show, um, let me showcase this really quickly. Is my internet still spotty? Uh, I can hear you now. Okay. All right, so, so I also love this one. So let me show you. So we initially did the five, like Mindy was mentioning, and um, and the formula as far as like, I always think of like color in the numbers when I see this, and it's yeah. kind of like play in the numbers. But um, we threw it out to some creative partners and they were able to make a various a different ones. A raccoon, um, which is a lot of fun. I think Tina made, I can try to remember Tina, if you if you get this one, which one you made. Um, anyways, so it was a lot of fun. And then I think Mary made um, the, and adorable. So it's all about what papers you use, what colors you use, but really just, just have fun. Don't put them in a box per se, but just play to create, right? That's the key to everything. It's just allowing yourself to play and have fun. So we're gonna go ahead and quickly just make a couple up so that um, you can kind of see it in action. And I do want to throw it out there that um, we are going to be doing a, hold on. I will get started on my animal while Susan is, she back? <laughs> so I was gonna make the bird today. Oh, you gotta love technology, right? So for the, like I just showed you, I'm gonna make the bird. Um, so I'm gonna, I just, so the great thing about woodland creatures is they're small. So you, all you need, so save all the scraps from your um, layouts and cards and things that you do, because woodland creatures is perfect for scraps. So I just found some um, random pieces of paper and you can easily make an animal with just little tiny pieces of paper. So I'm gonna cut out my body. Yes, oh my goodness, hello. <laughs> oh my goodness. Am I there? Take two, take three. <laughs> What is going on? Um, okay, guys. So what we're going to show you is how okay. awesome these are. Yes, keep showing us. I'm going to create the skunk or the owl. I'm going to create the owl while you're creating that one, and you guys could see okay. it in action here. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's see. Got to get my colors right here. All right. So you're pulled so, your templates out. I'm pulling mine out and I'm just going to get, I'm going to go after the formula. Yeah, me too. I'm just going to make the bird how it shows. And I already told them that, you know, you can use like tiny scraps of paper to do this. So it's super helpful. I don't even know if anyone's talking. Okay, I'm going to flip it over to mine so that I can show my progress as well. So I laid out my owl, which is adorable. Guys, look how cute this is. So what I was gonna say before I was rudely interrupted by technology, <laughs> um, I was gonna say that this is a two episode. So we wanted to introduce you to woodland creatures just in case anybody hasn't um, seen them before. One, and if you do have them and maybe you're a scrapbooker, we wanted to tomorrow jump back on and show you guys 
how cute they are for like cards even. Um, so we have a free printable that we're gonna be sharing tomorrow and of course more samples utilizing them. So lots of fun ways to, to actually take advantage of these adorable woodland creatures, like I said, on various projects, super fun. And they're really easy. So a um, couple minutes. Yeah, someone, someone made a comment that they look um, really intimidating but that they're not, they're really quick and easy. And they are, they, you know, you get, might get intimidated by all the little pieces, but really they come together really fast. Yeah, they really do. Um, but you don't want to throw away your insert. Keep your inserts when you get them, highly recommend them. You know, the other inserts have sketches. So in this way, this is kind of the sketch version for the woodland creatures so that you can have that reference with you, but it's really, really simple. I mean, a couple of cuts and- Yep, I already have my pieces cut out, so. Oh, you do? All right, sweet. Let's see what yours is like. So just in a matter of minutes, you can be on to inking and, you know, so definitely, if you wanted to make a quick card, you could easily make a really cute quick card with these and it would still be quick. Like it's not. not well, you're going to see that tomorrow. I, I'm yeah. so excited for the samples tomorrow. I have a couple more cards I want to make, but we are planning on, on showcasing that. Um, we're, World Card Making Day is coming up here. Did you guys know that? Beginning of October, we're actually planning some fun events just focused around cards. Um, but I always love to point this out using your scraps of papers. So if you are a scrapbooker and maybe just haven't, you know, felt a need to make cards, um, you really already have all the tools that you need to, to make cards. And so you're gonna see that kind of true, like I said, for the creative or for the woodland creatures, if you bought it from scrapbooking, most of the cards that we'll be sharing tomorrow um, are basically, very simple. So things that like, again, that you just use this one set and you can create cute cards. And of course it's durable on your layouts as well. So how's your bird coming? Almost done. Too bad we aren't racing. I would have beat you. Well, you know, <laughs> let's do a true race. Should we do a true race? <laughs> if it was a scrapbook layout, that would never happen, but I can build an animal faster. I also love to use um, like six by six pads. Am I show, showcasing? I don't know why it won't go. It's on me right now. Yeah. So let's see. Um, remove the spotlights. There we go. See if it will go to the gallery view here in a minute. Um, yeah, so these little six by six pads, they're so much fun and great way to, of course, for getting a various different patterns and colors. So uh, that's all I was using. You use very minimal too. That's why I'm thinking scraps is great, um, which I'll be sharing a lot more tomorrow. I have this whole bucket. This is kind of how I keep my scraps. Um, one of the events for the World Card Making Day is I plan to share a way that I've been thinking for a while I just needed a little bit of a motivation and I think um, World Card Making Day is a good time to motivate me to organize these scraps of paper. And that's one of the crafting events that I'm gonna share with you guys. Kind of this idea that I've been having for a while. So I need to get, <laughs> I need to get them organized so that I can share that. But I don't know, how do you guys, how do you guys organize your scraps of paper? I'm just curious, um, but yeah. So lots to look forward to as far as World Card Making Day comes um, up. But the six by six pads are a lot of fun for little projects like this. And I can also see these little <laughs> woodland creatures. I don't know. I think they could be a fun little gift. Like you could put them on a little stick or something like little, you know, I could see it. Like puppets? Yeah, like puppets. Yeah. Yeah, you could totally make up stories with them and things. Yeah. For little kids. I think that would be a lot so, of fun. Becky and Suzanne, I agree. You should get them out and play with them. You guys both have them, but haven't used them, you say. <laughs> so 
Oh, definitely yes. give it a go. And the other thing too about them is, um, I don't know, I feel like there's something about the crisp air, the fall crisp air kind of coming that makes you feel like paper piecing, you know what I mean? <laughs> there's something about just sitting down and piecing some papers together and having a lot of fun with them. Yeah, sipping on some, I don't know, apple cider, hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that cool yet here for that but maybe there's slight crisp in the air in the mornings here and then yes. and then it teases us and it goes away and then it teases us and comes back and um it's yeah it's kind of bittersweet for sure the other day it looked like it was gonna snow here but it was just the smoke <laughs> oh i know but the smoke it, is so bad over on the west yeah but it, it did look like it was gonna snow but. Hey, so on this owl, I do want to point this out. So um, you'll see the little circles in here. Those are, of course, our stencils. The way that we recommend any kind of stenciling effect is that you simply just trace those out, cut them out, and then we're going to layer them on top. So that's all I did here with these light, uh, with these eyes, is I just cut them out of other pieces of paper and layer them on top. So I don't use an X-Acto knife. That's not how I um, work with the stenciling. Not that you can't. I just don't think it's, I'm all about simple here. <laughs> so, so that's always nice. How's your bird coming along, Mindy? It's all done. Isn't it cute? Oh. oh, hold it up closer so we can see it. Oh, there's a delay, so. Am I holding it up closer? <laughs> can you see it? I can see it on your paper. Like, hold it up to your camera. There's, I am. There's a delay, so you'll oh. see it in a minute. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I see. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's adorable. Oh, you even put the little strip. You did all the detail, man. I am lacking here. Hey, listen. <laughs> for this, I don't even. I don't even care. We're going to do a challenge here. Give me a minute. I'm going to finish mine so that I can actually oh Susan, come on no Susan we're doing a challenge technology failed me and i'm i'm we're gonna do this <laughs> susan always has to win <laughs> always have to win <laughs> she always has to win she'll I play like a fun. game until she wins <laughs> <laughs> um let's just see let's just see mindy all right we'll see Hold on, hold on. I gotta add, I can't, I can't no, be happy. No, holding on. I ready, set, oh. go. No, stop it. I have to finish this one. I gotta finish it. I need a little pop up. Oh my gosh, my Beth, Beth, you had a foot of snow. Where are you from, oh, Beth? already? A foot? That's a lot of snow. That's crazy. Yes. Oh, Natalie, you haven't bought this one yet. Definitely go buy it. It's really fun. It's super fun. There's samples too. I will point that out. And if you go to the shop and you search, of course, or go to accessories and look up uh, woodland creatures, you can also just search woodland creatures. But if you go to the category accessories um, and look at it, you can see other samples, just so you know, uh, Natalie, in the shop. Um, I didn't pull them out of my album, uh, but again, tune in tomorrow. <laughs> We're going to be showing some final uh, things today. We just wanted to feature how to to create with them, and then um, and then we'll put these on actual projects. So that would be a lot of fun. Hold on, I need a beat color. I'm looking. I'm looking. Okay, I like the work. plaid. I like the plaid on these animals too. It's really fun. The plaid on your wing, and then the plaid on that squirrel. I like the different yeah patterns. it's really fun but you can also like, use just plain cardstock and they're really cute that way too i think that lion is probably plain cardstock right it is it's just plain card well this one is this one is this one is these are just plain cardstocks this one actually has texture but it looks like plain cardstock and then these ones are um this is just plain paper no pattern in that one so i think you can absolutely mix them up with pattern and cardstock yeah, Again, I think that's the point. Yeah, the, the point of it is just that whatever scraps you have, you know, scraps, but it, it's very basic. Like there's mm -hmm. just not much you need to accomplish these. And it's just so basic. Um, so, yeah. Sorry, I'm going to add my beak. I'm going to adhere my body. And then we are going to go for this. 
Which one are you going to design next? Well, I don't know, but <laughs> it's going to be out of blue and cream again because that's all, <laughs> unless I find some on my desk somewhere. You could do the yeah. owl, I guess. I got oh, some paper I here. I can make something work. Okay, you tell me which one you want and then I'll pick mine. Um, I'm going to do. Well, they have to be similar. Oh, you mean in, in, in size? In, in like pieces, <laughs> at least close. Okay. Um, I'll do the bunny. I don't know. I feel like we have to do the same one. Otherwise. All right, all right, all right. You're right. Otherwise, bunny's it's calling cheat. Okay, well, each do a bunny. Because the bunny's calling my name. Hey. Okay, and the other thing I, I was just about to put eyes on here, but googly eyes, guys, it is like the perfect way to use these googly eyes. Um, these three all use googly eyes. And the, but the other ones were just simple, like, you know, your basic ballpoint pen, and you put it on. Again, simple, cute, guys, is kind of how Kiwi style is here. Don't overthink it, but I might go back in and put something else there, but there's my owl, my finished owl. You can even do a two winged owl, which I kind of maybe <clears throat> should have done. That's cute. So this is a sideway owl. This is a front way owl. Okay, I'll go back and do that. So we don't hold everyone up because you know, we're gonna make another one for the sake of Thursday's madness. Um, Debbie's right, asking what's there? the new tape runner you have. I don't know who, I'm assuming she's talking to you. Do you have a new tape runner? It's not new. I just, I don't need a runner. I um, use a variety of tapes that I love. I do love this glue glider and then I love the 3L. Those are my two major ones. I ran out of the 3L, so I'm using the glue glider. But my first favorite is the 3L one. It's not new. It's just a collection of adhesives, just like collections of papers, it seems like. <laughs> okay, so where are we going? We're going for bunny. the bunny. That's right. Did you already pull out your pieces? How Ready, set, go. Wait, Ready, set, go. The pieces out. Ready, oh, set, go. Okay, go. <laughs> Wait, did you have a head start for your pieces? No, no, here. I said, ready, set, go. Okay, okay, okay. Don't just just go for it. I'm gonna do. Oh my gosh, I got you be already if you're thinking it over. Knock it off. <laughs> well, I have more selections as far as. Uh... <laughs> oh man, this will be too easy. Knock it I better off. Stop talking. I better stop talking. That'll come back to bite me. <laughs> so my strategy, did you guys see my strategy there? I don't want to say it to Mindy. Maybe Mindy had the same strategy. Mindy, did you have the same strategy? I don't know. I don't know what your strategy is. I traced all the pieces that are out of the same color at once. I just did that too. Oh, see, we're on the same strategy here. Trace them all out at once, cut them out. Mindy, I just don't know if you can beat me in cutting. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, this made me smile. I hope it's making you guys smile. <laughs> we need it after the hiccup of technology beginning. My goodness. But you live and learn. Can't let it stop you, right? You well, we didn't say the cutting had to be good. No, <laughs> but you can't just... <laughs> We'll have to take detailed pictures of this. <laughs> you do have to ink though. You can't cut the inking corners. If it's not worth inking, it's not worth doing, right? I do think like some twine or like ribbon for the whiskers would be super cute. I'm always looking for ways that I can add any kind of little texture on it. So I'm going to do, shoot, don't overthink it, Susan. Don't overthink it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to switch it up so we can see what it's like with a pattern belly. 
Yes, Rosa, it's serious competition. Who are you guys cheering for? Team Mindy? Hey, 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 Team, team Susan? <laughs> <laughs> Who's ahead? Who's ahead? Who's ahead? <laughs> Okay, for the ears, I will point out the ears on this one. So what you're going to do is you're going to trim around. Here, I'll have to show you guys that kind of what I did on those. Attach it. Belly. I don't know if you're ahead. I can't. I'm, I am too afraid to look up. Where are I you? Know. We need like a, a announcer person to. Okay, so There's I'm cutting out the, the top. Oh, that's true. Um, I'm cutting out the top ears here. And so I just took this piece, right? But I feel like it's easier if you, um, so I did two different ones. And so what I'm gonna do is just um, trim this down like so, and then go back and it's all gonna tuck in. So then I'm gonna go to the next one. Now you could just trim it off a little and just do it a little. A little smaller than size. We're gonna do Mindy. Now you would have done. That's kind of what I did. That's what I did too. Just kind of use it as a guideline reference. Unless you want those those layers, um, or you don't want the layers. Oh, you then guys you can just cut the. They're one. all like everyone's a winner. I, think, I, think I can't pick sides. That's not allowed. Everyone is not a winner. <laughs> And everyone is a winner. She's just saying in the sense of a game. <laughs> you know, we play a lot of challenges and games in the office and such. It's like, okay, go. It's all for the fun. It's all about why doing it. For me, I just needed something to distract me from the chaos of the technology. Where are you at, Mindy? So on the bottom, I'm going to add some adhesive there. Oh, I'll let you know when I to the head. Where'd my, where'd my pin go? Okay, that's kind of cute with the uh, the patterns in the middle. And then what kind of nose? What kind of nose? Let's see here. Oh, I'm on the nose, Mindy, just so you know. I'm gonna cut one out. Um, so good, because I'm done. No, you're not. Totally done. You did your face? Totally did. Lies, full of lies. Wait, if you're just drawing it, then I better just draw mine. No, I don't wanna draw it. I wanna show something else. Done. Okay, it's tied. We're tied. Whatever, I was done like I'm purposely not ago. doing it because I want to try and do her thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> it's you do not set We're... the rules ahead of time that you have to, on the insert, it's drawn on. So I did that. We're all winners, like they said, you know. <laughs> you are so full of it. <laughs> Susan would never play a game and be like, everyone can be a winner. <laughs> That is not <laughs> a game right. <laughs> okay, so I do want to try. I do want to try putting some twine on whiskers. I just want to see what it looks like. That's why I couldn't do it. I was like, but wait, I had the idea. And now my brain is just like fixated on it. You know what my husband says? He says what second place. He, Kyle says second place is the first loser. So... <laughs> <laughs> and of course we're saying all of this very lighthearted guys just but... very lightheartedly yes I, everyone could be a winner everyone's a winner just not at the bunny building game <laughs> all right i'll give it to mindy mindy's the winner <laughs> let's do it again no i'm just kidding <laughs> i'm just kidding see she'll play until she wins <laughs> And then once I, I win, I'll you. be like, I beat you because you took too long to pick out your paper. <laughs> no, I, I was very limited on my options. I just want to see what this, I want to do a pop-up nose. So I'm doing a pop-up nose and I'm doing a pop-up nose. How big is your nose? Well, I did a little bigger nose. I, I just wanted to experiment since I've already oh. made one more. And the little fist 
whisker, or whiskers. I'm going to have to glue those on. I don't know. I'm trying to think if it's funny. What do you guys think? <laughs> Sometimes you just don't know unless you oh, unless you try it out. Thank you. It's just a big nosed bunny, but it's I'm cute. doing twine. Yeah, not all of us have the same size nose. Nope. Just ask David. He's got a big nose. <laughs> Gail's gonna try and try okay, the, the twine whiskers whiskers a little crazy. Cray -cray. I don't know. Oh, uh, Gail says she's gonna give it a try. She likes the twine whiskers. It has a little texture. I think it's always great whenever you feel like something's mixture, mixing, mixing, <sighs> missing. You can just simply say, "How can I add texture?" or "How can I add layers?" Usually, either one of those will um, take it up a notch. That's kind of fun. Maybe if I had a little bit more bolder eyes on that, like, like I don't know. <laughs> if you put googly eyes on it, it would look a little scary. Right, but just like texture, like a, I'm trying to think here, little white eyes. I don't know. You gotta hold it up closer so I can see it up close. White eyes, gray eyes. Uh, gray. White would be creepy, I think. Stand out too much. So just know. kind of the gray, gray features. Uh, is that white or gray? It white looks white, but now it's white looks scary. So I would go gray. White looks a little creepy. Okay, I did gray. So there you go. Oh, Gail says you could stitch them. Oh, you could stitch them. Choices horses. I know, Gail. See how fun it is to play with the woodland creatures? All right, guys. You guys have been sports. Check back in tomorrow for our crafting event. We will be sharing a free principle for Free Friday um, that specifically was designed with woodland creatures in mind. And for um, us all the chance to use these little guys on some cards, um, because we've already seen how adorable they are, really adorable on layouts. Um, and if you haven't seen them, then make sure to go over to the shop and look through the gallery for this item. It's super cute, super, super cute. They're so much fun. Um, but they're, but I'm really excited to make some simple cards, specifically with the free printable that we um, created for it, because I feel like a lot of those sentiments on that free printable are very um, just because sentiments that I feel like right now is good to make maybe up for in some cards to send out just because to whatever relationships or contacts that you might have um, to spread a little bit of joy in the world. So I think we can use a little bit of that today, right? All right, guys, you guys are good sports. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. Um, Mindy's the winner for today. We'll do another Woo! round. Another <laughs> All right, take care. Bye.